week. Hudla, right circle out in front, picked off by Polson, and he'll carry out through neutral ice. 14-15 to go here in the first period. A shot from Krinkovic, the rebound, Butcher scores. The Oilers will take a 1-0 lead as Alec Butcher cashes in on a rebound at the top of the crease, backhanding it through the five hole of Jake Kiley. Tulsa out in front, 1-0 just 5.47 into the game. Yeah, just a turnover there in the offensive zone, in the neutral zone. Paulson kicked it off, able to go down, almost like a one-on-two against the Steelheads, but then able to get a couple extra players there, get a shot on net by Paulson, and then um, Butcher was there to get the rebound, but it was a great first save by Keeley, just couldn't control that second one. Go back to play it. Shots are 7-5 Oilers, 7.08 remaining here in the first period. Alec Butcher's 20th goal of the season. At 5.47 from Kyle Krinkovic and Tyler Polson have the Oilers out in front, 1-0, and Kudla ties it! Right on cue, Patrick Kudla with a low wrist shot in the right circle, beats Alexander near side, and we're deadlocked at one with 6.58 to play in the first. Yeah, we talked about it earlier, Kudla getting into the action in the offensive zone, jumping down there. Again, he caught that one from our Curry around the dot on the offside. Put a beautiful shot far side just over the pad. Uh, great opportunity there by Kudla and able to capitalize. And a break for you. That was about six or seven minutes there without, without a whistle going back and forth. For center. 5.50 remaining here in the first period on this Wednesday night from downtown Boise as Connor Millibuck delivers a big check on Davis Codd. And Carl Boutria and Millimuk are going to go. Millimuk and Boutria swinging right at center ice, and Millimuk will take them down. Well, it's been 6,549 days since we've seen a Millimuk jersey on the ice here in downtown Boise. This time it's Connor Millimuk getting the crowd into it. Register now Kawaguchi through the right circle. And he played it to the high slot, broken up, but the Oilers can't clear. Dying seconds of the power play here. Register Lynette, tipped by McCollum, and he scores! It's a power play goal! And the Steelheads take a 2-1 lead. Lyndon McCollum with the deflection in the high slot has goals in back-to-back -back games. And it's 2-1 Idaho, three minutes left in the first. Yeah, it starts with Tulsa not being able to clear it. Register with a keep in there off his glove. Then he just some good movement there, and then Register does what he does, gets that puck past that first defender at the net, and then you got McCollum there in the middle to, to get a good tip on it, bang it home, pass Alexander. To break up the opportunity. Here comes Sheriff driving down the right wing. To the net goes McLaughlin. He finds him, and he scores. A beautiful setup from Dante Sheriff. Back door for Blake McLaughlin. And we are all tied at two with 12 seconds remaining in the first. Yeah, just off that Master Renato two on one, that feather pass went in the corner. Sheriff, Sheriff and uh, the other four just bolted, trying to get that uh, odd man rush, able to get the puck up to him. And just a beautiful feather by Sheriff backdoor. I don't know much Kylie could do about that one, but kind of a backbreaker here with 12 seconds left in the period. Colton Bice has two overtime winners. White's got one, our Curry. And Cutla each with one as well. The four skaters out. They win the faceoff. Pelton Bice, left circle. Our Curry, one-timer, scores! Overtime winner! Francesco Arcuri again! One week later!